Education. People helping people. Improving economic development. Stop accounting for our and education system. Enhancing environmental quality. <laughs> Developing human potential. Safe as food. I commend you for seafood. putting the spotlight on New York agriculture. Protection of our natural resources. Helping people put knowledge to work. Cooperative Extension of Suffolk County works in collaboration with Cornell University, New York's land-grant school. Together, experts from both institutions research topics of consumer interest and develop educational programs as ways to spread this information to Long Island professionals and the general public. So check out Nutrition Facts at your food market before heading to the checkout counter. This is Joanne Castagna for Cornell Cooperative Extension in Riverhead. As we saw today, taking steps to preventing the spread of rabies on Long Island can be as easy as walking the dog. This is Joanne Castagna for Cornell Cooperative Extension in Suffolk. I hope we leave you today more aware and more informed about a disease that may be as close as our own backyard. This is Joanne Castagna for the Cornell Cooperative Extension in Suffolk. Seatbelt demonstration by New York State Troopers showing the importance of wearing a seatbelt, especially when alcohol has been consumed. The Department of Alcohol and Drug Addiction says there are more alcohol-related deaths among teenagers than any other age group. There are precautions you should follow when preparing dishes that include eggs and mayonnaise. For egg recipes, avoid dishes that include raw or partially cooked eggs. Bicycle riding is an enjoyable way to get exercise, fresh air, and spend quality time with friends and family. But it must be done safely. Wear a helmet and follow the rules of the road. This is Joanne Castagna for Cornell Cooperative Extension in Suffolk. Today, like most days, 19-year-old Patrick DePalotano of West Islip is running, sometimes even up to 20 miles daily. He runs for competition, recreation, but most of all, for his diabetes. Every year, one out of every 12 New Yorkers is diagnosed with diabetes, an incurable and sometimes deadly illness. Diabetes is a growing health problem in the United States, but it's been proven that maintaining a healthy weight with regular exercise and a healthy eating plan can help prevent and manage this illness. People with diabetes have problems producing and or using a hormone called insulin. Our cells need insulin to absorb sugar created from the foods we eat for energy. When a person has diabetes, they are unable to absorb sugar properly. So the sugar remains in the bloodstream and travels to vital organs and over time can damage them, eventually causing other health problems including heart disease, blindness, kidney disease, pregnancy complications, male impotence and circulation problems that can result in amputations. The major risk factor for developing diabetes is being overweight. Almost 80% of adults who develop diabetes are obese, says a recent study in the American Journal of Public Health. The study also says that those who exercise at least four times weekly reduce their risk of diabetes by almost 50%. By including regular exercise and a healthy eating plan into your life, you too could help prevent and manage diabetes. Diabetes is a growing health problem in the United States, but we can take action to prevent and control it instead of it controlling us. Maintaining a healthy weight with regular exercise and a healthy eating plan, getting regular blood sugar screenings, and educating ourselves and our families are the solutions. This is Joanne Castagna for Cornell Cooperative Extension in Suffolk County. Here at the Krauss Family Health Center at Southampton, a satellite of the Riverhead Health Center, Long Islanders are receiving blood sugar screenings for diabetes, an incurable illness that affects one out of every 12 New Yorkers yearly. Many of us find out we have diabetes when we've already developed one of its life-threatening illnesses. You don't have to be one of them. If you feel you may be at risk for diabetes, or if you already have diabetes, there are measures you can take to help prevent and manage 
manage this illness. Measures include maintaining a healthy weight with regular exercise and a healthy eating plan and getting yourself a blood sugar screening. There are many actions we can take to help prevent and manage diabetes. These include getting yourself a blood sugar screening, maintaining a healthy weight with regular exercise and a healthy eating plan, and educating yourself and your family. This is Joanne Castagna for Cornell Cooperative Extension in Suffolk County.